Hi, this is James with Digital Storm. I'm here today to show you how to properly receive your hardware. This includes your video card, your memory, your hard drive. On rare occasions during shipping, these things would like to get a little bit loose. This is just going to be a video introduction on to show you how to receive everything properly. So the first step that we're going to do is reseat your memory. The memory is held in by these white clips. What you want to do is you want to take your index finger or thumb, push down on one of these clips until the memory is slid out a little bit. You want to pull on the top end, memory will come out easily, no problem. There's a long and a short end to every single memory, DDR, DDR2, DDR3, all of them are a little bit different. Now what you want to do, is you want to make sure all these clips are down before you put the memory stick back, and you want to make sure that these are lined up with the slot properly. So when we put this back, there's going to be these two little grooves that the memory will actually slide in. And once it comes to a stop, you just want to push one end in for one click, push the other end for the second click, and you pretty much reseated your RAM. You want to do this for all your memory sticks. I'm going to show you guys how to properly reseat your video card now. In certain situations where you might not be getting video signal, this will be key on fixing your issues. Now certain cards will actually have the zip tie connected to your graphic card. This is to ensure that everything is in place during shipping. You also want to unplug your power cables. Every graphic card is going to be a little bit different. For this particular card, you just want to click this clip and it'll slide right out. This is designed so that when you push on this, this releases it and this you'll be able to come out. This is generally very standard for all computers. The cards are a little bit different depending on which card you have. They might be facing forward, down, or even to the side. After you keep unplugging the power source is removing the releasing the card from the case. Now every case is a little different as well. This particular one has quick release connectors that are very easy to uh, disassemble. Certain cases will have screws. Now, pretty much have the power off, card is released, there's no zip tie connecting to the case. Last, th last piece of the puzzle that we need to do is there's a clip that's holding in the card. Every motherboard is going to be a little different, there's usually two styles. This particular one you actually have to push up. What this does is it releases the card, you want to easily remove it just by wiggling. This will allow the card to come out. Now on the other style of motherboard, there will actually be a clip here that you just push down, makes it a lot easier. This is a little bit older style, but it still works just the same. Now when you're going to be receiving your card, you want to make sure that this is lined up with your PCIe Express slot, and that this is lined up with your case. Now to ensure that the card is receded properly, you want to make sure that this is in the slot itself. So as we put the card in, you want to put it in the majority of the way, and then kind of push it towards the case. You want to line up with the PCIe slot. You're basically doing this very, very softly so you don't damage anything. And once, once that's lined up and in there, you pretty much just push it in. And it's in. You hear that slot, you hear it pop, and it's in. You either put your screws back, or you connect your connectors back up. The card is now stable. You reconnect your power source. And like I said, this varies on graphic cards, but this particular one you just push, push up like this. And pretty much that takes care of receiving your graphic card. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you guys how to properly receive your SATA cables on your motherboard and on your hard drive. First thing you want to do Pretty much this is your SATA cable. Every motherboard is going to be a little different. Uh, they might be facing forward and they might be facing to the side. Either way, you pretty much all you want to do is you want to wiggle it out, pull it out. This is your SATA cable. Now all you need to do is just put it back in. This is reseating your SATA cable. It's going to fix a lot of problems if you're having it. Now as well as every case is a little different. In some cases you'll be able to simply remove the SATA and the power from the hard drive from the front. On this particular case, it's located in the back. So we're going to show you right here. You'll notice that the hard drive is located here. On every case, it's going to be a little bit different. There's going to be maybe multiple hard drives. 
Either way, the same deal goes for all of them. You want to unplug the power nice and easily, wiggle it out. You want to unclip the SATA cable as well, and just put everything back in. This ensures a clean contact with the hard drive. That's all you have to do.